you thought. Uh, thank you very much. So Jai Simpkin, the 2021 Sid Barker medalist, just gather your thoughts. What do you put that in, not just your, your football terms, but from a life point of view? Yeah, it's, um, oh, I'm, pre I'm pretty speechless, to be honest. Um, Lucky Cunners isn't here with me, we'll probably be crying together. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's something you dream about as a kid, you know, growing up playing AFL football. Um, it's every kid's dream. And, you know, when you're younger, you see these guys accepting awards and one day you want to be like them and I don't know sort of today sort of becomes a reality a little bit um, so yeah I'm pretty speechless. You've been building to this you were second last year what was the focus in the off season to take another spike in your improvement? Um, yeah I think consistency was a big one for myself um, I knew if I had a good pre-season and stayed injury free um, and then obviously all the new coaches Nobes, uh, Geordie Russell um, they can't go underestimated with how much they've pushed me to develop my game with a lot of more outside football and um, yeah, just evolve my game internally. So yeah, sorry, I'm just a bit flustered. Jo, what's, what's, <laughs> what's enabled you to take your game to the next level? I mean, clearly you've had a big couple of years. You're still yet to play 100 games of footy, so you're still learning how good you can be in, in a lot of ways. But what have the coaches said specifically? What's, what's David Noble driven hard for you to become? Yeah, um, I think over the last couple of years, I've shown that I can get um, footy on the inside and contested footy, but I've always struggled to sort of get it on the outside and get a bit of easier footy and, um, yeah, as I said, get on the outside. So Nob's really pushed me, played me on the wing at stages this year to try and balance that out to, you know, get that outside run, get back in the defence, get forward and really um, sort of get damaging more in the forward half. So going into next year, even our exit meetings, I think that's one massive thing for me. I need to get more damaging forward half. Um, so really work on my skills and um, hopefully if I can keep the consistency up, it'll um, take my game again to another level. I was just going to touch on that, your consistency, week in, week out, your numbers are pretty much the same. We were talking before, Luke and I, about, about your improvement to be able to hold that bar across the course. How, do you, how have you done that? How do you do it? Um, it's just training standards for myself. Um, you get in what you put out, so it's pretty simple for me if I know I, I train hard during the week. Um, and just do the consistent things that I know I, know I do, um, the rewards come. Jai, from a team point of view, you had a career best game in the round nine win against the Hawks, but how important was that from a breakthrough that after eight weeks of toiling, adhering to this new game plan, the boys finally got some reward? Yeah, it was massive. Um, obviously, the boys have worked so hard over the preseason. It's never easy getting a new coach in, or all new coaches, sorry. Um, learning a new game plan, so... Getting that reward at the end of the day, flying down the Tassie in such a close win, um, it was awesome. It sort of released the shackles a little bit, I think, um, as we've seen in the second half of the year. It was a bit more free-flowing football, which we tried to do from the start, but um, from getting that win, um, I think it took a lot of pressure off a lot of boys and just allowed them to play a bit more freely. All going well, you'll tick off 100 games for the club early next season. You've played 55 in a row. How much has that continuity to be on the park every single week but also log plenty of training during the week helped you as a player? Yeah, a lot. I think, um, well, it's my biggest thing. I know if I train, keep my training standards and my training load's high enough that um, I know I'm getting it in during the week and it... it um, <laughs> sorry, I'm still flustered. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, I know if I just keep my training standards high, um, it's going to allow me to play good football and stay out in the park. It may, may take a while to sink in, but your name does go next to the names that Luke said before. You, you, you've got Cunnington, you know, Stevens, Harvey, Carey, Swast, these, these guys. It, it will take a while to sink in, but this is, a, I think, testament to the work that you've done and you've gone outside yourself to become the leader of the football club. How important is leadership to you, given where the club's at right now? Yeah, massive. Um, as a young guy coming through, um, to try and steer the ship and steer north back to September footy, um, along with Lukey and Zebes and the other boys, um, it's massive for me. I'm, I don't want to spend my career playing down the bottom of the ladder, so I'm going to do everything in my power to um, bring this team up and bring all the boys with me. So, um, yeah, that's my goal. Jai, it's a special moment for you, but also the people who've supported you as well. You're now part of history at the football club as a Sid Barker medalist. Straight down the barrel of the camera for some thank yous. Um, yeah, um, sorry if I miss anyone. Uh, but um, yeah, first of all, I'd just like to thank my teammates and um, congratulations to Zeebs and Cunners as well. Like I said earlier, thank God you're not here, Cunners, because I'd be, geez, I'd be shedding a tear with you. But um, yeah, first of all, 
to the rest of the playing group. Um, you can't do these things on your own, obviously. And, you know, especially that midfield core that I'm with, I look around the centre bounce and I've got Todd Goldstein, Jed Anderson, Ben Cunnington, LDU's coming through, Taron Thomas, these guys. Um, you make my job a lot easier, which is, um, yeah, thank you. Um, to Geordie Russell um, coming in as a new, new assistant coach. Um, I knew early days we, we sort of butted heads a little bit with, with what was he thought was right, what I thought was right, but it, um, both going back and forth, we, um, we've got a really strong relationship and a good bond, which is really exciting for the rest of, the rest of us. So going forward, um, I'm really, really excited to keep working with you going forward. Same goes all the rest of the assistant coaches. Thank you for such a great year. Um, I mean, we didn't have as many wins as we would have liked, but I'm really bullish about our future and, and what we can um, do going forward. Um, to Nobes, um, yeah, oh, I can't really put in, put in play how much sort of drive you've had, not only on myself, but the group. Um, your stability through those, like we said, our first half of the season wasn't great and we, we weren't even looking like a win for a fair while, but your stability to just stick to yourself, stick to your plan, um, can't go unnoticed. Uh, I think in the past, a lot of times when you do go on a bit of a losing streak, the, the game plan and stuff sort of starts to change, but you were just rock solid, mate. You didn't, you didn't budge at all and um, thank you. you. You really challenged me about my outside game. Um, I, know, I know we had a few conversations about playing wing and I'm, I wasn't really sure about why you were playing me on the wing, but um, <laughs> it, um, it's worked in the second half of the year. I think it really improved my footy and um, yeah, going forward, like the rest of the coaching group, I can't wait to um, yeah, go forward with yourself and the rest of the group. Um, to all my family and friends um, back home, I, I can't thank you guys enough. All my aunties, uncles, cousins, everyone. I don't know how many people get um, messages before a, before a game from all their uncles and aunties, but um, you just never fail week in, week out. Sometimes I think, here we go again. <laughs> the same old messages, but... <laughs> Um, I wouldn't have it any other way, so thank you very much for all your support. Um, to my girlfriend Alicia, um, thank you. I know at times I'm, I'm probably tough to deal with, especially when we're losing and I'm not playing great and I can be pretty uh, hard to deal with at times, but thank you very much for all your support and sticking with me. Um, oh, I'm sorry if I've missed anyone else, but um, yeah, that's, I'll get around to it in, in our own time. So. Thank you very much. That's Cheers. what social media is for, Joe. You can catch up on the <laughs> oh, other no. thank yous afterwards. Well done. Well said. I can't imagine the emotions that are coursing through your body right now. It's an exhilarating feeling to join such an amazing list of club greats. You're a very well-deserving Sid Barker. Can I just say one more thing? Is that all right? Absolutely. Um, and just thank you to all our members and fans. Um, I know it hasn't been easy at times, but stick with us. As we've seen, we've got a really exciting group and no doubt we'll get the number one pick this year. And... That'll be really exciting for us, so um, stick around. The future's really bright, and um, I can't wait to have you back at games next year. So thank you very much, and enjoy the break. Well done, Jai. We'll welcome in, or bring back in, Jack Zebel, Luke McDonald's here, and we'll hopefully get Ben Cunnington back on the screen to propose a toast to all our award winners tonight, but in particular our 2021 Sid Barker medalist, Jai Simpkin. Thanks, you, mate. Thanks, well guys. Man. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Well done, brother. Vamos, vamos.